Hello and welcome to a new video. So let's talk about how to photograph an older newborn. Um, maybe the parents weren't able to come sooner. Maybe they only contacted you when the baby was already born, a week, two weeks old. You didn't have time that week to schedule the newborn session. So by the time you have time to schedule the newborn session, maybe the baby's already four weeks old, five weeks old, maybe even six weeks old. Can you still do a newborn session? I would say yes, you can still do a newborn session, um, but maybe manage the expectations of the parents because often on my webpage you see sleeping beautiful newborn babies. They lie on their belly with their head on their hands, beautiful posed, or they lie on their side, beautiful hands un tucked underneath their face or like in the bum up position where they do lie on their hands like on their tummy and then their legs are like folded underneath um, their tummy super cute super like cozy post um yeah you can do those poses with a sleepy relaxed comfortable newborn baby so usually uh the parents email me when they are um, still pregnant um, sometimes very early in the in the pregnancy sometimes a bit later that's fine and then I ask them to send me an email within three days after the baby's born so um, they send me an email just letting me know that baby was born and just maybe like a little update like are they already back home or do they need to stay in the hospital a little bit longer like how they're doing um, and then I sent them a list of dates and times and they can choose from those uh, slots uh, to see what works best for them. So if they contact me when the baby's already a week or two weeks old, I don't have that many spaces left anymore in my calendar or I'm completely fully booked. So that's why I ask them to email me within three days and then we schedule the session usually when the baby is between 12 and 21 days old. So yeah, the first seven, eight days is just recovering and uh, getting to know each other and also focusing on feeding the baby and changing the baby <laughs> and the baby needs to gain weight and uh, regulate their temperature and stuff like that and then the 10th day can be like one of these days where the baby wants to drink a lot and they're very like restless and not just feeling great they want to be held a lot so usually I avoid the 10th day so like by the 11th, 12th day yeah perfect to come for a newborn session someone awake wait until the baby's two weeks old completely fine up till about three weeks old so i'm referring to babies who were born around the due date so maybe two weeks early one week late if they were born more than two weeks early maybe we can still do a very sleepy newborn session when they're like four weeks old because adjusted they're only maybe a week old um and then if they were uh, born two weeks past their due date you might want to schedule this session when they're two weeks old instead of when they're three weeks old if you still want to have like a sleepy newborn but it also depends on the baby I've had very young newborns here in the studio who were wide awake just looking at the camera the whole time trying to figure out what I was doing super curious and I've had newborns here who were like four weeks old born after the due date just sleeping from the beginning to the end so there are no guarantees when it comes to photographing children because they decide what they want to do okay so now you have a newborn who's coming who is older so older than three weeks and not born a lot before the due date so how do you photograph them how do you photograph an older newborn um i would say take awake shots as many as you can no those facial expressions of awake newborns are amazing they just look at you and sometimes they really follow the camera, um, use wraps, stuff like that. Okay, what are we going to do? Uh, I'm first going to show you some behind the scenes uh, video clips of a newborn session with a, an older newborn. And then I'm going to talk a little bit on how I photographed him. I think that would be nice. So yeah, let's go to that newborn session. And uh, maybe these tips and tricks will help you a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's just cute to see a... Eh? Uh, baby, yeah, being photographed. Anyway, <laughs> have fun.
So I finished the newborn session with the older baby and already set up for a Christmas session later. Um, but yeah, how to photograph an older baby who is wide awake and has no intention of sleeping. I would say just photograph the baby awake because it's adorable. And you can even do most poses with an awake baby when they're calm and relaxed and they let you pose them. So in this case, he loved being on his back and on his side. I could easily wrap him. Um, and then I rolled him over to his belly because um, he needs to practice that anyway, like five minutes a day. They could recommend here that the baby lies on his or her tummy to practice like tummy time. So I did place a little pillow underneath his chest so that he could just rest his head on his hand. So it doesn't really count as tummy time. But still, how cute was that? He just rested his head on his hands, looked at the camera. It helped that he had something to drink beforehand because um, when they're really hungry and they do feel their hands against their face, uh, it feels warm and soft and they start seeking for nipples if they're like breastfed or just they might um, think about milk suddenly and then they want to drink. So it helps when they have a full tummy, a clean diaper, temperature is good, they're well supported with posing pillows underneath the blankets. I do have my posing pillow straight on the beanbag and then I have like several layers of beanbag fabric on top of it so it's all nice and smooth and I use several things. I use beans but I also use this uh, neck pillow actually um, to support the baby and I do shift them around sometimes but it creates like a nice little den for example. Um, so yeah adorable baby. We took some photos in the corner uh, where the mom also had her maternity photos taken with the sister, super cute. Uh, so now they were holding the baby instead of focusing on the pregnant belly. Um, yeah, I didn't put him like in a prop on his tummy because he was so awake and so strong, a little bit older. I didn't want him to kick out his feet and then uh, jump off almost. Uh, so I did place him on his back in a wooden bowl, just wrapped and he could like kick his legs out and stretch, very cute. Uh, Flocati shot with his sister, I decided not to wrap him because if he starts kicking off the fabric it'll just look messy, so he was just wearing little pants because he's already a little bit bigger, beautiful. Sister was giving him kisses, I left him on the Flocati for some shots of himself. Super beautiful, you can just lay a baby on a Flocati, have a little pillow underneath the Flocati and then just photograph from the top, they look up at the camera, super cute. He wasn't really consciously smiling yet, but sometimes you can even um, photograph like a little smile or yawn and his feet and beautiful details and hands and eyelashes because usually older babies do have longer eyelashes. Uh, but he was just happy looking at the camera and um, yeah, I don't do the froggy pose, I don't do the taco pose, so those poses I didn't miss because he was awake. Um, I just wrap, place them on their side, place them on their back, place them on head on hands. Uh, the bum up pose, yeah, he was kicking out his feet, so that one we couldn't really do, it doesn't matter, we did tons of other shots. Stay so relaxed, and sibling shot, I mean family shots in front of the softbox, beautiful light. Um, so all in all, we had a great session, baby was relaxed, and um, there was time for a feeding and a diaper change, And uh, but he just didn't want to sleep, that's okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I uh, love reading your comments. But yeah, that's why with a, especially an awake older baby, I'll use the 24 to 70 millimeter lens so I can zoom out, stay with my hands really close to the baby um, and still take a full shot uh, instead of the 50 millimeter lens, which I'll be using for my cake smash now. Um, I do have to keep some distance between myself and the baby if I want to have the full baby in the frame and the baby stretching and kicking out legs and stuff. And I don't want to take that much distance from an older baby. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.